Do you ever go to make a refreshing glass of sparkling water only to find out that your soda maker isn't bubbling like it used to? It's pretty frustrating, right? Now, what if I told you there are some simple ways to know when your CO2 cylinder is running out? And in this video, I'm gonna show you three different methods to quickly check your CO2 levels so you're never caught off guard. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll be confident in knowing exactly how much CO2 you have left in your cylinders. First, let's talk about the most obvious sign. The bubbles don't look or sound right when you're carbonating. When your CO2 is running low, you'll notice a significant decrease in the amount of fizz that you're getting. Like, let's watch this example here where we have a full CO2 cylinder. Looks and sounds great. Now let's try it with an empty CO2 cylinder. Ooh, I mean, it's truly empty, nothing coming out. And when your CO2 is running low, you'll notice a significant decrease in the amount of fizz that you're getting from each pull or push of carbonation. You might think something's wrong with your machine if you're new to carbonating, but it's likely that the pressure in your CO2 cylinders has just dropped enough that you're not getting much carbonation into your water. If you're pressing down or pulling on your carbon on your soda machine, but the water isn't carbonating as much as usual, it's a pretty clear indication that the CO2 is running out. You'll need to put more CO2 in by using more pulls or pushes. This method isn't always the most reliable, especially if you're new to a soda stream or other sparkling water machine. So let's dive into a more precise way to know for sure. Now, did you know that you can actually weigh your CO2 cylinder to determine precisely how much gas is left? Here's how to do it. So remove the CO2 cylinder from your machine and use a kitchen scale to weigh the cylinder. Now I like weighing in grams because it's very precise. And this is a very empty cylinder and we see that it's at 750 grams. This is the one that I was just showing, had nothing coming out. So a truly empty cylinder will be anywhere from 742 to 750. And once you get below the 800 gram level, you'll certainly notice a decrease of pressure coming from the cylinder into your machine. And you'll know it's time to start increasing the number of pulls or presses and think about how do I replace my cylinder or refill my cylinder. A truly full cylinder will be filled with over 400 grams of liquid CO2. So anywhere around the 850 gram range is a very full CO2 cylinder. And your pressure from the canister will remain pretty constant until you get to around like the 800s level. So if you weigh your cylinder and you've got say 900 grams in there, low CO2 isn't the cause if you're having some issues carbonating. If it's in the 800s, it could be getting kind of low and that's why the carbonation process isn't going as smooth. I think this is a really precise way to do spot checks like before a party or an event. If I wanna know how much carbonation I have left in a bottle, I'll just take it out real quick, put it on the scale and see, okay, I've got 950 grams. You know, I know I can get through this party doing four or five refills and be fine. If you're doing a max carbonation from your device, from like a SodaStream Terra or your Arc, three pulls on the Arc or seven pushes on the Terra, it's gonna use anywhere from 15 to 20 grams from your cylinder. So kind of keep that uh, calculation in mind. All right, the third method is you can actually take the cylinder out of your machine and depress very carefully with something that's kind of blunt. You don't wanna use your finger because if there is a decent amount of gas left, it's gonna come out very cold. So if you take like the end of a butter knife, now this is a full cylinder, and just to press it a little bit at the button at the top there, whew, and you can see very full, great pressure coming out. If we take our empty cylinder, we're not gonna get anything there. So be careful when you're doing this. You don't wanna damage the valve uh, or release a bunch of gas. And again, don't press it with your finger because it's gonna come out very cold. So by using these three methods, you'll go from guessing to whether your soda stream is about to run out of gas to confidently knowing when it's time to replace the cylinder. No last minute surprises, just perfect fizzy drinks every single time. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more handy tips, and check out our video here on refilling CO2 cylinders. As always, stay bubbly, my friends.